Hello Sycamore Junior High and happy National Robotics Week. Today is t- Tuesday, April 5th, 2022 and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Hanin. Yes, happy April. Hello, I'm Ava and let's all please unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over our heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. In addition to National Assistant Principal Week, did you know that this week is National Robotics Week? If you're interested in joining Sycamore Junior High's first tech challenge robotics team contact mrs jarvis and or stop by room 221 this week to check out the team robotics and the team robots in action during flex bell or possibly dur- during a future lunch in the cafeteria first tech challenge challenges kids ages 12 to 18 to program design build and compete with robots first tech challenge is one of three engaging first programs Every year they release a new challenge. Once you get the challenge, you figure out your game plan. Teams use a reusable kit to program robots in a variety of coding languages. Every year you also learn more and more about coding, so then your code's gonna get better and better. Personally, I do not learn hearing about it. But hands-on is just go into it. Instead of saying, oh, I know how to build this robot, I can say, I built this robot. In First Tech Challenge, students are developing a broad range of skills. Manufacturing, hardware, troubleshooting, but there's also a lot of things that you learn that you wouldn't necessarily think about. People skills. Problem solving skills, helping one another, helping other teams. The program draws so many students that come in who just want to do the marketing, who just want to do fundraising. And that's a great thing that the kids learn very early on. The model of FIRST has provided incredible opportunities for the students to interact with professionals. Whenever I ask my mentors a question, they always flip the question around and ask, where would you find the answer to that question if I weren't here? They slowly built my confidence up so much more to a point where we weren't asking them questions, we were just going. Each team has to compete at a local event, win awards at the local event, and then they're able to move on to the first championship. You walk into the room and there's that that smell, the smell of robots. There's different languages, different culture. It's just the best thing ever. There are scholarships for colleges, universities, as well as technical programs. I think it's incredibly important for youth to see careers in science and engineering as a possibility for them. First Tech Challenge is like an avenue for me to express my creativity with like-minded individuals that later become my friends through the program. First in one word? Wow. Fun! First is inspiration. First is amazing. First is hope. Wow, that's some steamy stuff. <laughs> now here is our Tuesday air test taking tip. If you can't figure out which answer is correct, use a process of elimination. You can take steps to a correct answer by eliminating the ones that you know are wrong. Make an educated guess with the rest of the possible options. There's only one correct answer. Oh yeah, that is a helpful one to remember. Process of elimination is a great strategy. Now for the fact of the day. Lightning can get five times hotter than the sun. The surface of the sun is estimated to be 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, a lightning strike can reach 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is because air is a poor conductor of heat, so it gets extremely hot when the electricity passes through it. Today's daily survey. So yesterday's survey asked who you thought was going to win the March Madness tournament this year, North Carolina or Kansas. And if you watched the game last night, you would know that Kansas came out on top with a win of 72 to 69. Well done to the 37% of people who thought Kansas was going to win. Don't forget to check out today's daily survey survey posted in Google Classroom. The results for that survey will be shared tomorrow. Yeah, I definitely thought that Kansas would win. Make sure to nominate your flex classroom and or school organization that lead us that would like to lead us in the daily pledge of allegiance. 
Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Addison H. We hope you have a wonderful day to celebrate. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. Reminder, we the people, your competition is on Friday. So make sure you turn all your forms into Mrs. Carter in the Media Center. You are meeting Thursday morning to rehearse all your parts. Be meeting with your groups throughout the week, so you guys will be ready for that. Friday report time is 7 a.m. in the front lobby to catch the bus. Bring some games to share with everybody to... Um, during your buys and things, and bring money for uh, breakfast. Also, remember, dress up, look nice for this. Last chance to purchase yearbooks, April 15th, all right? So get your yearbooks. There's where you buy your yearbooks. If you got questions, see Mrs. Spielman. That's it for me. You guys enjoy your day. Try to have a good day despite all this rain, and I'll see you tomorrow. Now over to our amazing assistant principal, Mr. Lavercombe, with the students of the week. All right, good morning, aviators. Hope you're having a great day. I'm here to present to two students of the week. First up, we have Skylar Gladney. Come on over here. Congratulations, certificate and Chick-fil-A. Next up, we have Bryson Hissong. Come on over here. Congratulations, there you go. We appreciate you being safe, respectful, responsible, and a problem solver. Hope you guys have a fantastic week. Okay, what's for lunch today? For lunch, we'll have spaghetti. We'll also serve chicken patties. Now for the joke of the day. Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? No. Great food, no atmosphere. <laughs> Go, Go Waves! waves.